spoke exclusively to the scientist who was at the heart of this groundbreaking discovery, Dr. Niku Madhusudan. We asked him the significance of this discovery along with other important questions. Listen to what he had to say. So this discovery is a major step forward, uh, in my view, in the search for life. Uh, because when we are looking for life, we are looking for signatures, uh, atmospheric signatures of habitable planets. And here in this uh, result, what we have found are potential biosignature molecules in the atmosphere of an exoplanet, a planet uh, at 124 years away, orbiting its star that's 124 light years away uh, from, from us. And these molecules are known to be produced uniquely by life uh, here on Earth, and they have been predicted to be good biosignatures on other planets as well, theoretically. And this is the first observational evidence that such molecules could be present on other planets. And we also asked him as to how this discovery changes our understanding of life, that we aren't alone in this universe. I think we have to be very careful. So this is the very first evidence. So we have to be careful in associating this definitively with life. We need to make more observations, obviously, and also more theoretical work to make that association. But if we can establish that this is actually due to life, then that makes a radical shift in our understanding, both scientific and societal. Now, scientifically, that will show that life may be common in the universe and principles of biology may be universal in nature. That has fundamental ramifications for even how we understand how life emerged here on Earth. Now, Dr. Deku also spoke about how life can or might exist in some extreme conditions as well, isn't it? So if we are seeing such molecules in another planet, so this planet K218b, then the assumption is that maybe there is simple microbial life, like what we see on, uh, on in Earth's oceans, that may also uh, be present uh, on planets like this. Now, this planet is what, is, is what we think uh, as a Haitian world, uh, which would be like an ocean-covered surface with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, and the ocean itself could be habitable. It could be slightly hotter than the oceans on Earth, but, uh, but still habitable. And we think that if we, did, if we confirm this finding, that may be evidence for potentially micro uh, microorganisms um, in, in, uh, in this planet. And we also asked Dr. Nico as to how his discovery concluded that the planet holds signs of life. Uh, the, uh, you observe this uh, with what is known as the transit technique. In this technique, the planet goes in front of the star as you're observing the star with your telescope. So when the planet passes in front of the star, some of that starlight passes through the atmosphere of the planet before reaching the telescope, and the molecules in that atmosphere absorb some of that starlight. Um, so depending on how much of that starlight is absorbed uh, and how much uh, that varies with wavelength, you can, uh, you can interpret what, are the comp what is the composition, what are the molecules in the atmosphere that, is, that are causing that absorption. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.